So honestly, I don't care if I screw up the facts or get things wrong or drop the lens and break it. All I care about today is that I don't call it an Olympus lens by accident. That's my singular concern. Welcome back to Review TV viewers, it is Chris Nichols here and today I'm playing with the brand new OM Systems 20mm 1.4. Now this is interesting because this is the first lens released under the OM Systems restructuring. It is not an Olympus but of course it is made for Micro Four Thirds and I'm going to be using it on an EM1 Mark III today. This gives me a 40mm full frame focal length equivalent. It is part of their Pro Series. I'm expecting good things. Let's go try it out. Just every alleyway gate that I see, I'm shooting today. So the Panasonic 20mm 1.7 was pretty much the only other 20mm in this range and it was very compact, but this OM 20mm lens is also very small. I mean, you're looking at roughly 250 grams, very lightweight, super glue eight of those together and you get one knocked. So very portable, easy to carry. Now, of course, as I've said multiple times, this is an OM system lens, not an Olympus, but it is still an M Zuiko Pro Series, much like the Olympus lenses that were also Pro Series. And because of that, it's very well built and it is fully weather sealed. Now, there is no autofocus manual focus selector switch on here. You're gonna have to do that through the menu you. And that is kind of a complaint because we do have this beautifully broad manual focus ring, well dampened and so big that anywhere you grab the lens, you're onto it. So that's nice, but there's no quick selector switch to go back and forth fast and there's no manual focus clutch. So there's no way to quickly adjust from autofocus to manual focus on the fly, like in street photography, unless I purposefully use one of the autofocusing modes to do, you know, autofocus with dynamic manual focus override. All right, let's talk about autofocus and you know what we've scan the press releases, look through stuff. And frankly, uh, I, I will admit, I have no idea what kind of autofocusing motor technology is in here, but I will say this, it is silent and it's smooth and it's fast and snappy from like closest focusing to infinity. You can see here, it's just nice and quick. So no issues whatsoever using this lens for autofocusing speed. I just don't know if it's stepping a little bit or if it's linear, I don't know. Now, as far as macro capability goes, the lens can focus quite close. I mean, I'm physically here about seven inches away from the sensor itself, but, uh, you know, macro reproduction isn't amazing. There's nothing to write home about. You're sort of at that one to eight life-size reproduction. So Olympus always described their lenses in the Pro Series as having feathered bokeh, whatever feathered means, but you can use whatever descriptor you want. Delicious, creamy, smooth, buttery, whatever. I mean, it's beautiful bokeh. And when you look at it from out of focus to in focus areas, that transition, it is smooth, it is very clean. Uh, looking at the highlights here of our lovely Jordan as our model, you can see wide open, not too much cat's eye into the corners, nice clean bokeh, no onion rings, no real soap bubble effect. When we stop down, things still stay relatively round in shape. So overall, we've got a lens that can deliver shallow depth of field and deliver it beautifully. So you can see the sun's come out here a little bit. So we've been able to test a bit of flare and sun stars in the 20 millimeter lens. First off, I've never really seen a micro four thirds lens that blows me away when it comes to sun stars. And the 20 mil is no exception. I mean, it's average, it's fine. But what I am really impressed by is how well it handles flare and shooting into the sun. We're not really losing a lot of contrast when we shoot in the sun and ghosting isn't really a problem here. You can see wide open, we're basically getting none. As you stop down the lens, you're gonna start to see a little bit form in the far corner, but it's handling it really well. The only time I actually really saw any ghosting was stopping the lens way down and you would never ever do that on micro four thirds. You start to get diffraction so quickly and things soften up so fast that I just stick to the usable apertures and there have no problem shooting into the sun. So let's talk about breathing on the new 20 millimeter lens from OM Systems. Uh, I haven't said Olympus once yet Jordan. Good job. So the breathing is where when you focus lens manually from near to far during video you see the frame actually zoom in and zoom out and that's not desirable it's distracting but 
Luckily, the 20 millimeter lens here basically has no breathing. You can see here as we focus from near to far and back that the frame is basically staying the same. And so that's a really positive thing. But I do have to mention it one more time. Unfortunately, we have no manual focus clutch and there's no linear focusing option in this lens. So I can't get nice smooth focus pulls. I find that it's a very long throw. And if I try to go faster, it just skips immediately. So that's unfortunate. But if you're autofocusing in video, you're gonna love the lens. So as usual, we like to test for loca. It's that color fringing in the foreground and background out of focus areas, which is notoriously difficult to get rid of in post. The 20 millimeter, it doesn't always show up, but you can see here in some of these examples, there is some loca present. It's not major, but it's there. And again, it is difficult to get rid of. Now, I think it is worth mentioning that the OM Systems 20 millimeter does exhibit some lateral chromatic aberration. This is a fringe of color, usually where light and dark areas meet. However, it is quite easy to fix in post. And if you're shooting JPEGs, the camera's gonna correct for it anyways. You're not even gonna see it. And really, because it is so easy to fix, we generally don't worry about it. So I've had a chance to already shoot the test charts with this lens. Let's talk about sharpness, and this is gonna be very straightforward. So first shooting wide open at 1.4. In the centers here, you can see it's excellent. Uh, we stopped down to f2.8. There's not really much improvement. It's very minor. If we look in the corners, when we shoot 1.4, a little bit of softness to be expected. Stopping down, though, makes that go away. And honestly, I'd still happily shoot this lens wide open. My main issue really is this lens is out resolving the 20 megapixel sensor that we have in here. So it's not the lens holding us back, it's the camera. In conclusion, I don't have much to complain about on this lens. I mean, optically, it's beautiful. It has nice bouquet, controls flare well, focus is fast, no breathing. I mean, rugged, weather sealed, compact, uh, the list goes on. So, of course, having such a nice lens with so many nice features means you are going to pay a little bit for it. And this lens is a little bit expensive. I mean, you know, it's kind of bookended by the Olympus 17 millimeter f1.8 and then the 25 millimeter 1.8 or the respective 1.2 versions. And so when you look at those price points, it fits right in the middle, I guess where it belongs. But yeah, you are going to pay a little bit. But if you want that 1.4 aperture and you want that specific 40 millimeter focal range equivalent, optically you're getting a beautiful lens here. And there you have it. We played with the OM systems. I still didn't mess it up the entire video. 20 million 1.4. Check out the links in the description below for the sample gallery to this lens. And of course, leave your comments below. We appreciate having you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe and we'll see you shortly for another episode of Deep Review TV.